Hello loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aries. So the Knight of Pentacles, this was actually um, in this deck, but it's in another, it's a card from another deck. So the Knight of Pentacles, though, this may mean that right now you are working on something yourself or someone is working on um, coming towards you, but they're taking a very um, cautious, I'm hearing like methodical approach to it. The Pentacles is something, it, it's, um, it's tangible, it's an offer, it's an opportunity, it's a plan that is in motion, it's coming towards you, but it's coming to you very slowly. Now, when I was shuffling here, what I, I couldn't help but stop and notice was the King of Swords and the um, the Temperance card. Once again, these are cards about logic, self-control, moderation, um, peace, balance, harmony, truth. This King of Swords could be an air sign. Okay, does they? It could be anybody. It could be you or someone else that has air in their chart. This Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We are now in Libra season. Libra season started yesterday. The autumn equinox. Wow. Behind this here is the Queen of Swords. Okay. So, and then here you have, wow, the temperance. This to me is like a yin and yang energy. I do feel that a lot of people, I've been channeling a lot of divine counterpart, twin flame, soulmate connection. A lot of you, you are telepathically communicating. When I see the swords, this is about communication. Mercury went direct last week, but some people are still experiencing like post shadow Mercury retrograde energies, but I feel like there is some kind of balance here. There's temperance and harmony coming. If there's been some type of aggression, some type of hostility, if your telepathic communication with someone has been disconnected or whatever it is, it's being balanced out. You have your spiritual team helping in the background to ensure that this happens because yes, there is a celebration. You have received a lot of tools and, and resources um, that you needed in some type of time um, period, I guess. There's been some type of chaos or conflict, I do feel. Um, let's just keep in mind over the last three months, you guys, a lot has been happening. There was Mercury in retrograde, Virgo, I'm sorry, Venus in retrograde, Virgo season. Virgo season is the season of, of the hermit. So a lot of people have ghosted situations um, or just taking time to, to rest, to retreat away from different people, places, things, or situations for their deep healing and introspection. I feel now that that has happened, either you or someone or both of you are now going towards a situation um, with a bit of caution or just, but but the caution could come from awareness. It's like, uh, I mean, I'm getting like, somebody doesn't want to repeat a mistake or somebody wants to come towards you in a different type of way than they did previously. There could have for sure been some kind of discord or disharmony amongst people. This could be friends, family, or lovers, but there's a balancing act that's happening now. Okay, so Libra season, uh, we have Scorpio next and then Sagittarius season. So for the next few months, there could be, a balancing act that's happening. This could be amongst friends, family, lovers, celebrations, or whatever. Um, you know, of course, we're moving into that time of the year where holidays are about to come up. So you could be around friends, family, lovers, and something is happening now where may maybe you're learning something about yourself that's going to allow you in this particular season that's coming up for you to um, handle situations with more control. OK, your reactions and responses are drastically changing as you get around people. Some of you, too, there's a balancing act that's happening when you go out and you meet different people or you celebrate or you're going to start um, embracing more people that are part of your soul family or are um, like your soul tribe. Now that you have with the magician card, you've gotten the tools and the resources that you needed from some type of situation or a journey. So now. You, you kind of get to go out and, and raise your glass and toast to something new that's being manifested. So obviously you're walking away from something here that has had a major effect on you mentally. Um, when you have things that are destabilizing you mentally, it, it causes issues even with your pentacles. It causes issues with um, your finances, you will find yourself having hardships and, and, and other issues in your life because of the, the stress, the fear, the anxiety, feeling worn out, um, being at rock bottom from being betrayed, feeling like you can't trust anybody. Eight of cups. This is someone who has just completely emotionally detached and is walking away. And you're just like, 
you're holding on to whatever you have. This could have been a past energy though, where somebody in the past just felt so, um, so broken, so, so wounded that it actually turned into a bit of bitterness. And now a person is in survival mode, but I feel that someone is trying to come out of that. There's a reason why this Knight of Pentacles came out. Somebody is trying to get out of that. Yeah, because here they're awakening and they're realizing like it's time now to, to heal. It's time to take some time to self to get balance because somebody, um, I'm, I'm hearing surrender defensiveness. There's an the energy of someone here who could have been very defensive. You know, um, very much up in arms, not feeling like they're being celebrated, not feeling like they are receiving the rewards of recognition from their friends, their family, their fan. I heard specifically fan base or followers, something about Elf. Somebody's name could start with Elf because it's look, Elf friends, family, uh, followers and fan base. Um, someone here could have for sure been trying to manifest like something better and because they're not receiving it. They've been mad about it. So if this is you, Spirit is saying you need to take some time out to rest and retreat and to connect more with your higher self and your spiritual team about how to manifest instead of you being manipulated into lashing out, being bitter, controlling or whatever, because a situation is not working the way you want it to right now. Keep in mind, again, Mercury retrograde post um shadow there are for some people it's like you you've been waiting on a breakthrough there's still a few delays here okay you, you, it's like kind of getting getting your feet wet again like your blessings and and opportunities and abundance is coming but it's just coming in slowly so don't allow yourself to become too impatient yeah virgo season a lot of introspection. Somebody, I feel like there is an energy here. This could be you, okay? None of us are perfect. Or someone that you're dealing with, though. Or just someone in your environment. It feels to me like somebody has kind of... It's, it's a very much an energy of lashing out. Because they're not seeing... Like the fruits of their labor in the way that they want. But it's coming. So if this is you... Try to temper yourself. What you want is coming. It really is coming. But it comes to you quicker if you surrender and allow it to come. Yeah, look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. It's a positive shift or change here. And it is just like I was saying at the beginning of the reading. It's understanding your light attributes and your shadow. I, I've been receiving downloads about this all week. Um, I'm thinking about just doing like a talk video about it. I may do it tomorrow. It's Sunday. We may have tarot church, as I call it. Um, light attributes versus shadow. Some people need to realize that you're you're not as much, as light as you think you are. There's things in you that gets angry. You get upset. You know. Um, it, it's natural emo natural emotions. But you have to temper and control how you let it go. You know, I, I'll be completely honest. I even see here on, on YouTube sometimes certain readers, you can see by their subliminals and the stuff that they say, you can tell when they're upset about things happening in their personal life, their channel or whatever, because they will start to, to say negative things about people and you can just tell that you're like who is that because i know that's not the reader that i typically follow you guys could say it about me or anybody like emotions are natural but you have to learn to have some self-control and do things in moderation some some things that are constantly upsetting you maybe you need to slow down doing it and do it in moderation because now isn't the time for you to lose your cool you're too close to your breakthrough King of Swords, yeah. See, I told you. Ace of Wands. Brand new passionate beginning here. Lots of new creative ideas. Yeah. You have to temper yourself because it feels like you're not receiving something. It feels like you're being rejected for something or your um, emotions may lead you to wanting to reject something, but your wish fulfillment is coming here with the star. Yeah. Wow. I said wish fulfillment. <laughs> The star speaks of hope, but look at what's behind the nine of cups. There is a card of wish fulfillment. You're going to receive everything that you put into a situation. It's your karmic justice. The sun, wow, and the queen of cups, the six of wands, the ten of cups. Oh, my goodness. Like, hello. 
the three of cups. So there's a huge win that's coming for you. You're going to have victory and success. Like your cup is going to overflow with happiness. But fix, like somebody here needs to fix their attitude. Like I said, this could be you or someone that you're dealing with or both of you. Take it however it resonates. On my channel, I'm not going to ever stray away from talking about the collective because it's really all about you. These other people in our lives, they're just a tool in your ascension. These messages really should be about you and what you need to do to manifest love and a better life for yourself. So I'm not going to sugarcoat and make it seem like, oh, you're perfect and I'm perfect and we don't have our own shadow attributes that we need to work on. No. And people who don't like that, I don't care. You don't have to watch the channel because a lot of people will lie to you and make it seem like, oh, you're just perfect Patty, perfect Patricia, when in actuality you have seasons where you're negative Nancy. And you're wondering why, why your manifestation is being blocked. It's mindset. Your perception is what's going to create your reality. That's the truth. There's something very, very beautiful here, though. The sun, the queen of cups, the star. I mean, the, whenever you get the sun and the star together, nine of cups, ten of cups. Like it's it's mind blowing. It's breathtaking. Whatever this is, it's something that brings a lot of generosity here. The six of pentacles is all about um, giving and receiving. So whatever you giving, you're gonna receive it back. And sometimes instead of being um, Kind of in this four of pentacles energy because like you feel like you've been betrayed in some way that's the perfect time for you to start giving it's nothing to give and and show faith and gratitude it'll automatically shift your energy when you feel like the universe or life or people aren't giving you enough give more maybe you're not giving enough and that's why you're not getting what you want in return some people like i said are so busy worrying about oh they don't want to be hurt or betrayed and and trying to cancel everybody out that they're not realizing that hey in actual you need to heal some more it's nothing wrong with you giving it's nothing wrong with you receiving but the trauma has conditioned most people to not want to give anything you will never receive love or goodness if you're not giving it that's just, I mean, that's just karmic law. We're in Libra season has started now. It's all about balance. You're manifesting here security, stability. For some luxury, you've put the work in. All of their hard work is about to pay off. Be mindful of the gossip, the jealousy, the envy, the chaos, and the conflict here. Okay. This is a message for divine feminine and masculine. For some of you, you have a really, really amazing partnership coming in and you have a bunch of people around you and they have a lot to say about it. Okay. You could be someone that has been manifesting by yourself for a really long time. Now, because the high priestess is about to have either a level up in your career and finances where you are stepping into this emperor energy or you're meeting a counterpart and the two of you together are going to take a leap of faith and start something. A lot of people have a lot to say. And Spirit is saying, you need to free yourself. Don't worry about what they have to say. Don't worry about the gossip, the jealousy, the slander. It doesn't matter. Move on. Page of Cups. You can have a new spiritual gift, psychic gift, a new sign, synchronicity, a symbol that you're recognizing that's going to help you now to put together the pieces of a puzzle where there's been a lot of confusion around possibly a partnership that's coming in for you. Some of you need to be very careful because I am getting the energy where it's like something or someone is trying to tempt you to really act out of character and be very irrational because you have a really great blessing coming in. Now that this blessing is coming in, somebody wants you to be confused, stuck, stagnant at the crossroads, unsure of what to do. This is a trick. It's a deceitful trickster like energy. Yeah, because, you know, you, you have the golden egg, you have the ticket. Some of you, this is this has to do with your business. You're moving forward to great fortune because you've put in a lot of hard work to create something. You put in a lot of hard work to, to drop all of the burdens to create something. Or for some of you, somebody is putting in a lot of work to drop burdens because they see you as a divine feminine and they want you to be able to be in divine feminine energy where you can rest and you can receive. A lot of people, they don't like that. The truth is, if, if individuals could keep you stuck, stagnant, and single forever, they would. 
So the fact that you now are about to be recognized truly as a creator, whether male or female, in this divine feminine energy, and you're going to receive back what you've put in the universe already, you have a lot of people that are mad about it. Yeah, three of pentacles, the tower, and the two of pentacles. This is some kind of teamwork, collaboration, a group of people possibly that have been trying to create towers because they want you to have instability or they want whoever or whatever is coming your way to seem unstable. This is still moving forward. And this has a lot of people heartbroken. Yeah, because they keep like some of you. It's just a lot of people. They're constantly taking action to have you miss out on something it, it really is old at this point yeah it's this is coming to an end it's old this people like going within and spying on your partnerships two of cups ten of pentacles this king of cups goes with this queen of cups here that's attached to this sun and this star somebody here like literally your partnerships is all somebody obsesses over non-stop this is so like just pathetic and ridiculous to me. It's it's the same story every day. Like somebody literally, they don't care if they have to remove you, astral travel. They're trying to go into your Akashic records to find that information. They use every crystal ball. Like somebody here, they study your partnerships and your relationships. They study it. Because your somebody knows that your partnership brings the Ten of Pentacles. So I've been saying this for so long. For some of you, you need to be really careful because you have different people in your energy or in your environment who have seen you manifesting alone and they already see you as, as a threat alone, but they are very, very, very scared of you joining forces possibly with a, another, like a business partner or a romantic interest. Some of you, your romantic interest is going to be your business partner as well. These people are very, very threatened and frightened by what may happen so they're constantly throwing this chaos and confusion towards you because they, there's a major level up that comes with a partnership whether it's business or romantic it's a major level up that comes yeah the king of cups here this person is being awakened and they know now they need to come towards you somebody wants to stop that scorpio season sagittarius season could be very um, significant because someone is turning their back on what doesn't serve them and they're choosing to go into this new world this new timeline they're, they're getting out of the matrix they're leaving the past behind mindset or whatever has had them stuck and stagnant they're, they're going towards better this wand is bigger than this wand this wand goes to four more wands this person is leaving behind one wand to go towards the four wands and someone here is, is very decisive, the Knight of Swords. They're making this decision to, to quickly. They've made their decision and they're springing into action to go towards love. Yep. And you may have thought that this situation was all over, that like it was a lost cause. It's not. Somebody just had to heal, like I said, and release themselves from something very low vibrational and karmic. Whatever this is, my the, the devil to me is not just a, like a karmic relationship, but it is an obsessive type of energy. And it could be your energy or someone that you're connected with. Someone has just felt very tied down to whatever this, whatever this two of wands is here. It has someone in this energy of being, feeling like they were just stuck. Okay, it could have been a relationship. It could have been a toxic mindset, limiting beliefs or negative thoughts, pessimism, whatever, whatever it was. Somebody is now like, no, I need to just go ahead and move forward. And for some of you, this is definitely a relationship. Somebody is realizing that they need to come in now and they need to put in the work to move on to peaceful, calm waters with you. Where was that eight of pentacles at? And that's what I'm saying. Somebody is upset. Yeah, because somebody here, now you see this, the disappointment, the regret, or whatever, of some type of karmic energy or mindset, somebody moving on. What do we have before? Somebody now is seeing the truth. They're getting foresight and clarity. Somebody's like, they, they've been lying to themselves or someone from their past lied to them, had them at a crossroads. The wheel comes in and turns, right? This person hops on the chariot and they start moving forward. 
It doesn't matter if the situation was good, bad, evil, or ugly. There's duality with the chariot. Somebody moves forward, they drop the burdens. And they start putting in the work either to become the divine feminine or somebody is putting in the work to be with a divine feminine. Take it however it resonates. This person, for a lot of you though, this is about a masculine. This person has been juggling, unstable, struggling. There's divine intervention coming in though. Something is going to strike. This person is going to have an epiphany and they know for a sure fact that they want this partnership. They want to collaborate with you. For some of you, if this is a work situation, somebody has been lying on you so that a person or a group doesn't work with you or somebody doesn't fund your project or something like that. People now are seeing whatever you're putting out. They see like, oh, it's, it's good. It's successful. You're, that's what I'm saying. If you are not getting... Um, I don't know, like, like in YouTube, obviously it would be like followers. If you're not getting the type of uh, uh, attention, um, the following, the support that you need, it's coming. Because it seems like there's a, a group that made it, it very hard for people to see you in your most positive light, but your light is still shining through. Or somebody could have done, you know, I, I want to, I would love to stop even mentioning magic, but it happens a lot. We're just going to say manipulation. Someone has tried to manipulate a situation so that someone doesn't see you in a positive light, whether it's in love or partnership, business or whatever. Your light, your, your, the truth is out of who you truly are. If it's not happening to you, somebody could have tried to make you think something very negatively about somebody that you wanted to work with or, you know, um, consider for a partnership. And it didn't work. For some, you and someone are coming together. You both have had people in your ear trying to talk you out of this connection or this partnership. And it's still coming together because it is actually something that is in alignment and a vibrational match for you. The point, the problem though, is that these other people around you and perhaps this other person, they're not in alignment with you. And they're now mad that the truth is out, that they've been doing things to manipulate your mindset so that you don't move completely away from them. See, now you're no longer heartbroken and in regret about whatever this toxic energy is. You're moving on to peaceful, calm waters and you're closing out the cycle. These people who have been feeding off of your energy now, they're paranoid and fear and feeling very much wounded because you've rejected them. That's what this is really all about. Yeah. You tapped into your higher self with the hierophant. Some of you, it's like you're either going towards something more traditional or you're now... Um, you're challenging the status quo. It's definitely a lot of people here who have much to say about someone's choices in business, partnerships, and relationships. And I feel like you guys now are saying, well, it really doesn't matter what um, your friends, your family, or whomever, like what people have to say. You know exactly what test trials and tribulations you had to go towards whatever your life testimony is. These people, they were a part of your story, but they want to be the beginning and the end of your story. And that's not how it is. So now Libra season, justice, the scales are being balanced. These people now, they, they're upset because they're being kicked out of your energy. The cycle is over. This, this, this cycle of them constantly trying to put all of these different crazy thoughts in your head about stuff that's not true, it's over. Yeah, Six of Cups and the, and the Strength card. This is something from past life as well as childhood of someone that has been trying to take away your ability to have strength and courage. These people, they don't want you to feel, um, they don't want you to walk around in your power. They want you to be fearful instead of fearless. Because as long as you are fearful, you're going to stay codependent and chained to them for them to use you, drain you, and abuse you. You're, bl you're blocking this energy out now. And it's leading to you having a lot of protection. Somebody is a natural born leader and they're, they're seeing the truth about what's been done in the shadow. And by, by this king of wands looking directly at this shadow, this could be a fire sign looking at a cancer. Pisces, Scorpio, usually for me though, the moon is, is cancer energy. Doesn't have to be though. Could be, uh, for some reason right now, I'm getting just water in, in general. 
Actually, don't even worry about the sign. You have a king of wands, somebody who's becoming passionate about tapping into their emotions. And by doing that, it leads to them to the Ace of Pentacles. This king of wands is realizing that even as a leader, this could be this emperor here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The emperor usually is Aries energy. This king of wands could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or they just have fire in their chart. This person is starting to realize that, hmm, it's a whole lot of conflict and drama around this high priestess, or there's a whole lot of conflict and drama around spirituality or um, intuition. They're realizing like, oh, maybe they need to get out of being so structured and disciplined, and maybe they need to actually tap into these emotions. Maybe they need to, to see what's behind the veil for a moment, and that will unlock this Ace of Pentacles. Because someone realizes that they've been out in the cold and trapped in some type of fear or illusionment due to people or interferences for a long time, this person is now ready to take action. So for a lot of you, what I'm really getting the main story here is you have a person that you have um, awakened and a lot of people are upset about it. Ten of Cups. This person is becoming awakened because they're in your life. Or, honestly, I, I, I hate to say it because I don't... Even as in the readings, you guys, like some of the downloads I've been getting is really going to change how I read a lot because of just the, the wisdom that I'm getting. It's not just that you're a good person and we have to get out of the mindset of thinking you're the only good person. How can you say you really want to be with a counterpart if that's what some of you want? If you think that you're the only good person, now you could be a bit more conscious, a little bit more aware than certain people coming around you. But if you're doing the work and you're connecting with like your actual um, soul family, a, a soul family full of earth angels, just, you're not the, always going to be the smartest. You're not always going to be the best. You're not the only person receiving downloads. If you're a divine feminine, you have to know and, and respect the divine masculines who are coming in. They're getting downloads just like you. You're not the only one that has an intuition. I think a lot of people fall into this belief that like, oh, it's everybody against me. I'm the only one in the group that has like the, the, the power to discern or intuition. Everybody is actually born with the intuition. Everybody. <laughs> Psychic gifts, spiritual gifts, it's a muscle that you have to work out just like any other muscle that you work out when you go to the gym. So it's not just like a person is having this awakening and awareness about you. Make sure that you are leveling up with your consciousness and awareness about other people too. Understanding that you may be a high priestess, but maybe you can see how an emperor kind of thinks. Or maybe you're an emperor. Don't don't misjudge the the way that the high priestess thinks. Because the truth is, both of you could come together in unity if you drop your egos and you can eliminate all of this division that is here in the world right now. That yin and yang energy, you both have something to contribute to having like, like creating some type of peace and harmony. Don't think that you're the only person. They can do that. And if you guys are dealing with a lot of third party energies of people talking to you, especially like with family with the Ten of Cups here, you need to quiet that out and ask yourself, does this person or this thing really bring me peace? Does this business really bring me peace? If this person, this business, this opportunity or whatever that's coming in for you, remember the Knight of Pentacles, if it is aligned with you, nothing that anybody else says should matter. And when you truly get to that point, you're going to start to see a lot change. Ace of Cups, see? It's new beginnings in business, in love. Okay? The Ace of Cups can be the birth of a child. It could be a marriage. Like I said, it could be a new psychic or spiritual gift. It could be a lot. It's also just an emotional breakthrough. Like I said, somebody here is starting to look. This King of Wands is starting to look at something in their shadow, something in their childhood. They're seeing the truth about an illusion, something that they've been believing, and it's going to help them crack open. There could be a mask in here who has fire and water in their chart. They could have cancer somewhere. They're going to crack open, and it's going to open them up to the Ace of Pentacles. Or 
they already have the Ace of Pentacles, but they've been hesitant to share it with anybody because they're so afraid of getting hurt. Somebody is, is finally addressing some type of hurt that they experienced that led to some kind of loss or pain in their life. They could have been dealing with like a Queen of Swords. Someone very like detached. The High Priestess is here. Yeah, this definitely here is some kind of spiritual awakening. Ace of Cups and the High Priestess. What is this? Oh, and the Lovers. Yeah, it's a spiritual union happening. And the Temperance card. Here's a Death card. And it's in the reverse. The Death card is in the reverse and so is the Nine of Swords and the Two of Swords. So, yeah, for sure. Um, wait a minute. You have the high priestess and the temperance. So check this out. So we have, remember, the emperor and the high priestess. And this conflict and this chaos, right? What did I tell y'all? Somebody is mad that a masculine is becoming awakened. This person has been so detached, heartless, logical, analytical. The king of swords does not worry about the heart much at all they can be very fair and just and, and even noble in some way but this person is not heart centered this new love with this high priestess here the lovers i feel like this emperor is ascending they're going from the emperor now to the the temperance Meaning this person is gaining their own set of, of wings as an earth angel. This person is about to embrace a path where they're going to step into their purpose. And they don't care what anybody else has to say about it. Because how could, how could they deny it? The queen of cups, who will be the high priestess, is where the sunshine and the star is. So now this person, oh this is good. Now this king of wands could be a Sagittarius. Now this person is looking at the moon and they're like, yeah, um, something here is not adding up. Somebody can see that their job or something that they've been very invested in, they're like, I'm sad here. There's anxiety here. There's fear here. I always feel trapped here. Whatever my family taught me I'm not like I'm not experiencing life here. I'm I'm existing. I'm not living. Boom. But there is so much sunshine and light around this healer. These people who are tapped into their emotions, hmm, they seem to really be doing well. This person is now like, hmm, I need to give this love thing a try. Maybe I need to find out a little bit more about this shadow work or this healing. Because this high priestess, this person has fallen in love with the high priestess. And it's because now the lovers is here, which speaks of a choice. This person is now trying to merge energetically and spiritually with the high priestess, which means that if you go into the energy of a high priestess in any type of way, anything that is unclean, has to, it has to go. So this person is now about to start, or they've already started experiencing issues with friends, family, lovers, everything else has to go. Why? Because the tempers, they're now stepping into their actual purpose. This person started to do things in moderation. Th their friends realized this person, they don't want to hang out the same. This year for the holidays, they may not be interested in going around their family. Or this is you. Take it how it resonates. You're, you're, you're moving away from things that don't serve you. The death card is in the reverse. It's an inevitable ending and change here. And the nine of swords. It's time out for somebody to be stuck suffering. And in anxiety and at a stalemate, crossroads energy. The hangman is in the reverse. This Peter Pan, you don't want to grow up. You don't want to embrace your purpose and all that. That's over. Whether this is you, your person, or both of you. Somebody has to go ahead now and step into their own stardom. Step into their purpose. Because God, the Hierophant is saying, yeah, it's time. It's time for you to tap into that higher realm like... There's higher truth in, in learning and in, in the hierophant is spirituality. For some, it's religion. It could be spirituality, but it's like somebody, you're going to have to leave some type of 
group or a family or job, something that is status quo that forces you to conform. You have to leave it behind in order to have the confidence and be inspired now to see the beauty of life. Somebody's heartbreak here. All of this pain and suffering is the reason why their foundation has been upside down and the reason why they can't seem to have any type of success in relationships or in union. For some of you, again, a lot of people have been preying on your downfall. They see you establishing things within your foundation, but they do not want you to go towards a partnership that is destined for you because it comes with too much peace and harmony. With all of this peace and harmony that you will get by having love, there's all of this success that's attached to it. A lot of you may not realize that your success, your foundation has been upside down, your finances, security, and stability because of the lack of love. And the world will keep telling you, don't trust anybody, don't love anybody. That's a trap. That's a trap. The heart chakra is going to be the bridge between the earth and the spirit realm. If your heart is not open, then your discernment is completely off. You're not even stepping into any type of consciousness. So then you're stuck with the lower chakras being out of balance. Root, sacral, solar. No willpower, no life force energy. You're not creating anything. You're still stuck on childhood issues. So there's no growth. The heart chakra, boom. That's when you start feeling and you accept like, wow, something here is off. I don't like how I feel. I don't like how my life is. I need to change. And then once you go up to the fifth chakra throat, what do you think? You start speaking out. You start telling people, I don't like how you've been treating me. You start to, I don't want this job anymore. And that's where a lot of you are now. The, the ascension is happening. You're telling people, I don't want to be here. You're breaking up with people. You're leaving the family behind. You're embracing being chosen as you should. And that comes with sacrifices. People, they don't like that. Ten of Swords. They feel betrayed by you leaving them behind. Because, like I said, Three of Wands in the reverse. They would rather you lack any kind of foresight, discernment, not grow or expand or have any kind of confidence. So, the point is, is to betray you and keep you at rock bottom feeling defeated each and every time something new comes in. And it's not just people. It's your own personal mindset, too. A lot of people, myself included, you get so accustomed to people beating you down that you just expect the worst. It's time for you now to start expecting the best. Always be prepared for the worst, but it's nothing wrong with you hoping for the best. Five of Wands. I'm telling you, a lot of conflict, chaos, competition, people in their ego. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. About your personal freedom. <laughs> About your rewards, your recognition, your your pentacles. Everybody, they want to keep their eyes and their hands on what you have going on. And it has nothing to do with them. This is what somebody is going to start realizing. Whether it's you or someone you're dealing with. You have a person in your energy that is holding on to something. They're very stingy. I don't know why. I just, I just heard clear as day. Bipolar. This person is very stingy, possessive. Okay, this person is very guarded in their life. They want you to be guarded. And then and then they're guarding everything that you have and everything that comes in your life. So you have a person around you, okay, that is extremely fearful. And if you're not careful, you will begin to operate the same way. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Yeah. <laughs> The King of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. This Queen of Wands literally fell right on top of the Five of Wands and the Ten of Swords. And then you have the King of Pentacles here with the Nine of Pentacles. This energy, for some, this is the interference. Whoever this queen of wands is, this could be a friend, a family member. It could be it could be a sister. It could be someone's mom. It could be somebody's ex or whatever. There is a feminine energy out here, though, that is very upset that there is a masculine who wants to ascend and evolve in their life. And they've been inspired to do it. 
by this nine of pentacles. Now, signs and gender are mentioned, okay? You could be a woman. You have somebody in your life. If you have a man that's coming around you now that makes you feel like you want to grow and expand more, you have a feminine around you. This could be a, a jealous friend, family member. They don't like that. They don't like the fact that now you want to explore life. You want to have love. Um, the love that you're receiving from other people is helping you to just kind of bloom and blossom. Somebody around you, they don't like that. It's a very low vibrational, toxic kind of energy. This person is competing with you and the truth... They don't compare. This part is a queen of wands in the reverse. This is a kind of like they're trying to put themselves out to get some type of energy in. It doesn't come. Something comes naturally to you and it doesn't go naturally to this person. So they're constantly acting as if like they're in this sexy, strong, powerful, confident energy. It's all a facade. This is like a, a, a narcissistic person. This person knows that they, they really don't have any anything going for themselves. And and they they have the nerve to feel betrayed. And in their mind, they, they're convincing themselves that you're competing with them. <laughs> so I feel it's weird. It's like you have something good either happening in your life or that's about to come in. The Nine of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. There's two very like stable people, two people who have dreams and great vision about like building an empire, business, security, stability, two very wise, grounded individuals. You have this queen of wands in the reverse. Like this person is at rock bottom or they feel like they are being defeated. So they're sending you this evil eye. This is someone like competing with you secretly. This person is very much in their ego. And it's like I said before, a lot of people right now, because they're not receiving rewards and recognition right now, they're lashing out at other people and they're competing. Like somebody here is trying to create a reason to compete or I'm here even like slander your name or whatever, because they're, they're secretly, honestly, they're secretly jealous and envious of you. There's no reason for this. Somebody here does not like the fact that you're either in a relationship or you have a relationship that's coming in as a nine of pentacles and it puts some kind of pep in your step. This king of pentacles comes in and makes you feel like leveling up. Somebody, and that's what, I mean, if another person is coming to you, they should make you want to be better. So now you're, you're more passionate about your life. Somebody is now trying to, like I said, like demonize you because <laughs> you have love and the love is helping, helping your heart to open. So you're blooming and blossoming. So now they're like, oh, no, it's not real what that person has. They, they're only doing this because of X, Y, Z or this is real, like messed up with whoever this is doing. The reading just kind of took a different path. Like I was picking up on a masculine this this may be happening to a masculine as well. This masculine could have like a free male of I said free male, a female friend, family member, somebody, or an ex, because they're showing up in the life of maybe a divine feminine, and these two people are now passionate about their goals and dreams. Somebody is just in the background. I feel like this reading is picking up several different energies, like these energy vampires that's just kind of standing from the sidelines secretly hating on you and everything that they see you do good they demonize it or like these are just hate hateful people if you you know i don't know change up your style oh you're th that person is doing it because they're trying to get a man everything you do like somebody is saying you're trying to do it for the wrong reasons like somebody literally is so jealous and envious that all they're doing is constantly demonizing you and everything that you do If you are on social media with a platform because we have their sun and their star energy, it's like somebody's like, oh, everything, they're trying to get attention. It's like, no, you're just confident in yourself. Somebody finds your confidence 
they they consider it to be cocky or they they're trying to say that it's fake it's phony it's a facade it, it's just because it's queen of wands in the reverse they don't know what it means to actually be confident because they're a distorted feminine energy this is a distorted this is somebody who is very low vibrational and they're masquerading themselves as like a divine feminine Is this person right now is is um like a sore loser is what I just heard. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, five of Pentacles. Somebody here, they're not getting what they want. Somebody like they're not getting the money, the rewards, the recognition. They feel like they're struggling. They feel like they're not getting like these positive ch like changes that they want in their life. So now they're in this victim mindset of, oh, well, it's because of that person. Somebody just wants to blame everybody for what has happened. So, oh, I'm not making money. I'm not getting views or whatever because of that person. They they did it. No. Nobody did anything to you. You need to change your course of action. Two of Wands in the reverse. You haven't taken steps to do something different. And somebody here needs to sit down, be quiet, and heal. Instead of blind. Like, this is crazy. Like, this person is blaming everything on somebody else. And the whole time... If this is you or someone else, you're just like trying to enjoy your life, like living, building your pentacles, growing, expanding. Here's the Knight of Pentacles again. Something is coming in for you. It's practical. It's good. Seven of Cups. And somebody, like they just cannot stop thinking. Uh, it's like somebody is, it's a lot of compa comparing and competing. Well, why do you have this? Like somebody is just drowning in disappointment. Five of cups, five of swords, seven of cups. Just conflict. Seven of wands is in the reverse and the emperor's in the reverse. The six of swords and then the ten of cups. Oh yeah, six of cups. This is this is a person from someone's past or a like a past life karmic person. It doesn't even have to be a lover. This could be somebody that you work with or whatever. This is an energy though. The seven of wands in the reverse, the emperor in the reverse, the six of swords in the reverse, and the ten of cups. The seven of wands, the emperor in the reverse, and the six of swords in the reverse. The six of swords in the reverse is like not moving on to peaceful karma waters, not releasing baggage. The emperor in the reverse oh i get it i see i see i see i see i see i get it the ten of cups somebody cannot release what a masculine did when they were in a distorted masculine energy they can't release it now that this emperor in the reverse is becoming an emperor upright and they're actually growing to become an earth angel because of this divine fear, somebody is furious about that they're like i don't understand why that person is choosing to do good now uh, because they're with this other person six of pentacles somebody is mad how they're like how dare you go over there and give that person what you refuse to give me for some of you this is this this could be somebody that you don't even know that's what i'm getting here for some of you be careful take this how it resonates for some of you, you could have a person that's just looking at your life, your lifestyle, and they're like, well, I feel like I'm better than you, so how come you get to have a successful relationship? Somebody is in their ego. What's so good about you? Like, somebody's like, well, I've been done wrong in relationships and partnerships, and I haven't gotten a divine union, so what's so special about you that you should get one? What's so special about you that your business is getting the funding or whatever that it needs to to progress in mind isn't because you're bitter and you're mean you're angry and you're lashing out that's why for some of you you don't even know this person they're just looking at your life and and t trying to pay attention to your energy and what they're finding is that you're truly happy and they can't stand it but this person keeps comparing themselves to you this is someone who feels like they're better than you. What you have, they feel like it should be theirs. And then for some of you, it's it's a person from the past. 
especially if you're like a device there's a masculine here this person was once in a distorted energy with whoever this queen of wands is in the reverse that it was a karmic connection this person is now having an awakening looking at their moon card this could be a cancer pisces scorpio somebody is looking at it like yeah like in the past, you know, I, this person was all about money or whatever it is. They were with this Queen of Wands in the reverse, very superficial. Now this person's like, I want to be on my divine path. And somebody is pissed. Or like I said, for some of you, it's somebody you don't even know. Well, I mean, regard, you probably don't know this person anyway, but they know everything about you. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. Somebody, they, they, their business and everything is declining. And they feel like you're getting the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody feels like you're taking something from them. Yeah. Wow. Yo, when I, this is crazy. The Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. The Four of Cups. Somebody cannot get out of this, like, Broken heart, like bitter, like they're so angry about this King of Cups. Judgment in the reverse. Dang. Judgment in the reverse, King of Cups, and the Tower. All three of those cards are Scorpio. Something here is over, it's transforming. There could for sure be a Scorpio involved. Somebody could have Scorpio in at least three places in their chart. Yeah, it's a woman out here who is just. They are very upset. This person literally is coming out as the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, the Queen of Wands in the reverse. This could be someone that, that feels like, I'm telling you, everything that you do, they feel like it's your fault. They don't have the ambition. They don't have the look, the style. They don't have the money. They don't have something that somebody else has. And so now it's like, well, so what do you mean? Why, why does that person get to level up again? Four of Cups. This person, they refuse to see themselves. Like, this person refuses to look at themselves and realize that they're missing opportunities because of who they are, how they think. King of Cups, the Tower in the Reverse, and the Judgment. There's an inevitable end here that's going to have make somebody wake up. But also, too, this King of Cups. I'm, I'm getting, like, a King of Cups. I'm getting a masculine woman. But I'm also getting like an actual masculine, like a, a, a man. Somebody is angry about this divine masculine. Because when they were with this person or whoever this person is just in their past in general, somebody is angry that they have not had a divine masculine before. And they're looking at this divine feminine just like, I'm sick of you winning. Why do you keep getting good opportunities? Oh, and now here you are. You want to get more money and you want to get an offer from a king of pentacles. Somebody feels like you're already a nine of pentacles. You don't need anything else. This person's like, let me catch up. Let me have something that you have. Why do you keep getting good stuff? This is so like, yo, this is crazy jealousy. And I feel like going back to the beginning of the ring, like I said, it's like what you're being advised to do is just kind of hold your cool. Like, don't give this any kind of energy. Just keep doing what you're doing. This person is trying to get your attention. Like, they're lashing out at you. Yo, this person. Look, page of swords. Stalking, spying, gossiping. Trying to be very argumentative. They don't want you to receive an offer. They don't want you to follow your heart or receive an offer. This is coming to an end. Yeah, Knight of Swords in the reverse. Whatever type of sudden action that this person tries to take towards you to cause some kind of upheaval in your life. The Spirit is saying, no, it's not happening. Yeah, this person feels like they can call justice in your life. Eight of Wands in the reverse. It's not going through. Like the message, the energy is not going through. The two of cups and the sun. You're going towards this ten of cups, whether this person likes it or not. Nine, nine. Nines represent endings. Nine of wands. This person needs to go within and figure out why they're in this ongoing battle of being tired, depressed, oppressed, jealous, envious, 
toxic, mad, sad, angry, disappointed, while they're constantly being rejected and abandoned, it's because of how they act, how they think. It's because they won't actually grow up. They won't heal. This person needs to do some soul searching, seriously. And this same King of Swords here, like I said, this person is going on to celebrate. They're putting in the work. Seven of Pentacles, the Devil, Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person here is putting in the work to let go of any kind of negative attachments. And they see a passion new beginning with this Queen of Wands. That's the truth. This person is walking away and they're going to the Empress. Or this person is seeing that they need to detach from this negative Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, so that they can go towards a life where there is more truth, clarity, passion, and new beginnings. And that they're walking away going towards the empress or this is a divine feminine you're walking away from some bitter nasty queen of cups here and you're going on your journey it's time for you to move forward the queen of swords all of this jealous hostile energy that keeps you in some kind of mental entrapment this is a people who are working against you because they see how strong and powerful you are when it comes to you manifesting wish fulfillment yeah page of pentacles this is the truth this is the missing piece of the puzzle that you needed for you to have wish fulfillment and have this positive shift to change. Page of Wands, you have exciting news coming your way. Somebody didn't want you to step into the unknown and follow your heart, Knight of Cups. They were trying to stop you from working with this King of Wands, this Earth Angel. Somebody wanted you to stop working with this person, Ten of Wands, and they wanted you to forever just be in this cycle of burdens. Two of Pentacles and juggling. This is so sick. Like, who sits around and does this? It's so many different situations and scenarios here. Like I said, for some of you, this is like a real jealous friend or family member that you have, Divine Feminine. Or just somebody that's watching you. They don't even really know you, but they are tracking your energy and, and trying to stop good things from coming towards you because they, they feel like they're better than you. This person is trapped in a lot of pride and, and fear and ego. And again, they don't even recognize this. That's the sad part. This person is about to have to go through like some type of um, like a Saturn return. Where it's like the universe is going to have to beat this person down and show them that they need to really stop doing certain things towards especially certain people like the book stops here with you because the, the the level of toxicity the jealousy and the envy coming from this person is crazy but i'm i've picked up several different energies here that share the same energy I'm saying different energies, but I've picked up several different people. For some of you, this is a friend or family member, um, co-worker, a stranger. Somebody just, they're very intimidated by your light. They don't like it. It's giving very much like this, give me, give me, pick me type of energy. Because I just keep, this person's like, you are, I keep hearing this person say, you already have enough. So somebody feels like you need to stop. You need to be slowed down. You're getting too much. You're getting too many fans. Your audience is growing too big. Your business is growing too fast. You know, your 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 lifestyle or whatever. The things are improving in your life at a, at a rapid pace and they don't like it. Because if this is someone that's in your life, they really don't like the fact that you are going out and you're connected with more like-minded people and therefore you don't want to spend much time with them. They don't like that. So what they're trying to do now is plant seeds in your mind that everything good around you is bad so that you will see them good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a lot of manipulation. And like I said, if it's not you, this could be someone you're dealing with. They could be de dealing with a situation that's very similar where for the masculine energy that I'm picking up for men, especially, I feel like somebody here has like a female friend, a sibling, um, or maybe even an ex that is very upset that this masculine is growing and ascending. They, they've stepped into this light consciousness where they now want to, um, they want to produce something good. 
and they've been inspired to do it um, because it's just a part of their purpose. But they could have a divine feminine in mind. This person has like a female friend, a past lover, or somebody that's like, wow, so you didn't do any of, the, any of that for me, but now you want to do it for them. Something could definitely be coming up about like gifts, like somebody is willing to buy a person gifts or help them financially or they're choosing, you know, money isn't everything. This person could just be choosing to like not be a, a playboy or like spending quality time. So somebody's like, wow, you never put in the time, effort, energy with me that you're doing with this other person and they're mad about it. This could be someone's friend, like I said, sister or a past lover. They're pissed off that this masculine is no longer in a distorted energy because they got the worst. So somebody just cannot accept the fact that they, they're they like karmic. Everybody's been karmic to somebody. We all have. But being karmic and then choosing to be distorted. I have a reading about that. You know, being karmic is simply like you were a lesson in somebody's life. But when you're a distorted feminine, to me, that's really bad because that's somebody who feels like they are a divine feminine and, and they're the, the farthest thing from it. This person is like, I'm divine, I'm divine. Like, no, you're jealous, you're envious, you're bitter, you're mean. <laughs> you're competing with people who know you or don't know you. Wishing evil and, and ill will on people. There's nothing divine about that. Now, a, divine, a true divine feminine is not sitting around comparing themselves to a karmic. Because the truth is, is that everybody has, has been... Like I said before, the lessons I'm learning about karma, reason, seasons, lifetime, people. Everybody has been in a situation with a person where they were not aligned. And you can't pretend that every situation that you didn't have a, the outcome you wanted in or every failed relationship, that it was all because of the other person. You literally was just with that person for that moment in time to learn a lesson. So move on with the lesson and charge it to the game. I feel like so many people, distorted feminists and masculines, carry this energy of ego. Everybody that I lost, like they lost the best thing that ever happened. No, you weren't a good fit for that person and they weren't a good fit for you. Neither of you were a good fit for each other. You're not better than them. They're not worse than you or whatever. Like, it is what it is. Just let it go. But to hang on forever in this mindset that you're better than the person that someone chose over you or somebody else because of however you're trying to judge and assess the situation, that's not being divine. You should just be focused on creating whatever you need to create for yourself. Otherwise, you're in an ongoing battle of just suffering. While somebody else is living their best life <laughs> and making offers and becoming stable and secure with someone that they see as a vibrational match. Don't waste your time worrying about that. If this is you, like, please stop worrying about the past person. But some of you need to be careful because you have someone around you, whether you know them or not. They are really, really tripping hard. On who you are and they're trying to paint a picture that you're not who you actually are which is I hope you're this divine person and not the other energy that we're picking up but this is just a hateful nasty like it's, it's all jealousy and envy that's all it is wow I don't even know what else to say <laughs> It says, when I'm in alignment with the love of, of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. Happiness is my birthright. Yeah. Somebody hates the fact that you're just a very happy person. They're like, I don't understand why you're happy and you're, you're so unbothered because happiness is your birthright. I am the loving energy of the universe. Like, you just exude peace, happiness, and love. And somebody's like, no, you need to be hateful. You need to be mean. <laughs> Look at this. My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. When you're when you have peace and happiness within, it's all around you. So if there's a bunch of hell and chaos and conflict around you, you need to check yourself. Like that that's all of us. 
You can't blame everything on everybody else and then be mad at people because they're happy. Happy. It says the pr the presence of love will always cast out fear. I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself that I am love and miracles are natural. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you always are praying for the highest good of all people. This is a very angry, just jealous, bitter person, child. I'm sick of this. Anyway. <laughs> Happiness is your birthright. Okay. Divine Feminine, don't let anything have you in this energy of being regretful, feeling shame, pain, or anything else. Well, look at that. Ace of Cups and the Emperor. You have something good coming, whether it's in love, partnership, whether it's business or romantic. Somebody is coming for you despite the toxicity of, of whatever this negative attachment is. So continue to trust your intuition. This third party energy is being casted out. It could be somebody in your life or the life of this other person. It doesn't matter. <sighs> well, that's that. I just want to see... I mean, it really, like, what is this part? This part, somebody is passionate about you. Look at that. Passion. Hold on. Let me get the deck so you know I'm not lying. Passion. Underneath it is marriage. Somebody is passionate about marrying you. They just have these unhealed wounds, this obstacle from this past person. And now they're taking time out. Like I said, somebody is mad that a person has moved on from them. They're taking time out to heal, to clearing their energy so that they can go into abundance. And they want to share this abundance with who's in their life here and now, which could be you. Which means that whoever this toxic person is, they have to be released. Somebody is just pissed that they're being released. That's all this is. Because they know this is, like I said, an ex or someone's friends or family member. Somebody knows that a person wants to marry you. Or they know that you are considering being with a person. Because you could be a woman. You could have a, a woman or a man in your life. They know that somebody is in your life now that you're going to keep around. And they're pissed about it. 